How's it going there now, YouTube? Uh, we're going to get right into the stacking pallets on hills in a minute. Now, there's some uh, wood under my porch. That's uh, pear wood and, uh, and beech wood and walnut and some cherry. Uh, and uh, my tomato plants. We'll check up on those here in a, in a minute shortly. I do want to also show you real quick. Uh, this is that maple tree that I took out of the stump last year. And uh, it's doing just fine. I put it in that clay soil and it's been doing good. So here's also some clones of green giants that I stuck in there. They don't have a rooting hormone or anything now. Those are just natural clones. Uh, so let's take a look at these tomatoes. You can see uh, there's quite a few fruits on that there. And I'm picking tomatoes about every day and just eating a few, having a handful of tomatoes. So it's kind of a neat deal. But those two plants right there, they were rotten, and uh, they, the tomatoes were turning brown, and they have some type of stem rot going on, or, and uh, also bugs and everything. Anyways, moving on. That was all my cherry stacked up there on the right, and then here in this area, that is actually a pretty steep hill right there. So there's an example of pallets on a hill right there. And that's a, that's a 15 by 15, or a, a roughly section, just loaded with wood, and it's over six feet tall. So that's a hill, and I did the same thing in that area that I did with all of this wood here. Now you can see all this wood, and uh, that right there is stove wood, and the section behind it is on a hill, and uh, it's, it's really high, uh, and there's more stove wood. Uh, but let's look down here. Something has made a home under this uh, pallet. Look at this little bridge it made. I don't know if that's a raccoon or a turtle or what, but uh, a bunny rabbit. Something dug that out and it's living under that little thing. So let's get into the pallets. That's the wire that I use, and now you can see how tall that is. I mean, I need to be careful walking around this because that's an old busted up pallet standing up. It's an eight foot tall pallet and it's broken in half and I just have it wired to the tree there. And uh, you can see it started to separate here, and I used that wire there. And uh, that's not a galvanized wire or anything there. That's starting to rust a little bit, but you can see it started to separate, and I was scared to death it's going to go. I still am a little bit worried, but uh, it's been holding on. Uh, those are some busted up pallets, like I said. And you can see all down through there I put these structures, and that's a hill. It's hard to tell the grade, but that's coming downhill towards me there. So I just use that galvanized wire and some pallets. And when you build these things, you want to build them strong from the get-go, from the jump there. Uh, because if you, if you don't put enough wire or you use like a piece like this wood here and, and you don't pre-drill the holes, you need to pre-drill holes on these little slats of wood because it'll crack that wood and, and just, uh, just pull it right out. So I pre-drilled that and got that in there. And... Uh, there's probably about uh, 10,000 pounds of weight behind that. That is uh, beech wood and cherry wood. And it was, I mean, that was like picking up boulders. It was very heavy wood. Uh, you know, some wood is heavier than others. And uh, that, when that wood was green, it was, I, I mean, I didn't even like picking up a small round of it. It was just solid wood. So that, that's holding back a lot of weight. Uh, so you want to build these things right the first time. Uh, and I put... Uh, three or four or five uh, pieces of wire on these pallets. And I'm, I think that wire is like, a, I don't know, it probably holds 850 to 1,000 pounds per wire. So uh, you can see how many I put on there. Those are all running back into the pallet and supporting those, uh, supporting the, the pallets there. Uh, but you do need to get wood on them uh, immediately when you build them because if you can visualize what I'm saying, it's just like an L bracket laying on the ground there sticking up in the air. And if you use wire and you don't use a rigid material like wood, those brackets will, uh, the, 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 the holders that are vertical, the vertical pallets there will just fall, well, they'll collapse back on themselves like uh, towards the wood, if you know what I'm saying. They'll kind of want to fold back up and, uh, and just fall flat on the ground if you use wire. So if you just use wire only, you need to get some wood in it immediately or have some type of support or something to, to hold that thing back from falling over. Once you get wood on the pallets there, though, uh, it's fine. Now you, when you got wood on it and it's pushing and holding it back with pressure, they're not going to collapse on themselves. So just keep that in mind when you build them. Uh, a piece of wood would be good to use to hold it in place, but you don't have to have wood if you go ahead and stack some uh, firewood there, and uh, it'll hold it with pressure. So uh, that's my gate. Uh, a cherry tree fell on that, and uh, my gate won't close anymore, so I've been using a pallet because... I get deer and all kinds of things that come in and eat my tomatoes and 
And uh, who, I just, they can knock over the wood pile and everything. Anyways, I just, I got that closed off. Not a big deal. That is all oak right there. There's, there's a little bit of some maple in there in that middle row, but uh, you can see how much wood I piled in my backyard. Now there's that sycamore I split, and uh, that is maple and walnut and sycamore and a bunch of really nice locust wood in there. That locust is going to be some good wood. I might have to keep that for myself, but you can see how neat that is down there. Down through there is a nice little uh, walkway I made, and uh, that's all uh, maple and walnut. And uh, so I left plenty of room this year to get my wheelbarrow back here and, and get that row all the way to the right. And then I also left space in between the piles so I can go in between it uh, with the wheelbarrow. Now this is not what I'm talking about. That's just showing a view of those piles. There's plenty of room to breathe in there. Uh, I maybe could have put them closer, but uh, that's just what I did. Uh, so I left space this year. I could have fit more wood if I didn't have aisleways, and I may take that into consideration next year. But uh, quickly, let's, uh, let's stop and look at this oak tree. I did trim a branch off right there. You can see where I trimmed it. And uh, this air layer is that air layering that I made last August, I think, at the end of August. It was either August or September, but you can see there is no roots in that puppy yet, and uh, it's pretty discouraging. I want to make a video on that and open it up like a little surprise, but I can't even see one root at all on that plastic, and, and that's just not going to be enough to sustain that tree. If I cut that off and there's no roots on it, it'll just be a waste. So I'm just letting it go. It's happening very slowly. That oak tree, if, if it even happens, they're probably very difficult to root uh, through an air layer, but that one is being uh, extremely slow. So we'll get around to that, and if it's not rooted, I'll just throw it away. Uh, anyways, uh, there's a big old chunk of firewood right there, and uh, you can see how tall I have that stuff. Now, if you go much taller than that, it's, uh, it'll start to fall over, and you can also see how steep that grade is. So uh, I know the title of this video is Stacking Firewood on a Hill, and uh, I'm just kind of showing you around. I talked about how I use the wire, and I'm showing what it looks like, and I mean, you can see how much wood you can hold on a hillside. And, uh, and also, I want to mention that I could have put pallets on the uphill side, on, that, uh, on the side that I'm on, and, and fit even more wood in there. Uh, certainly, I could do that. I could put, a, put another uh, bookend on the other side. There's some Osage orange there. And, uh, and then you can stack even more wood. Uh, but I'm, I think I'm good with doing what I did this year. Uh, you can see it's got a pretty straight line on it, and uh, that way I can access it very easily. And uh, I'm just showing here how that wood is that wood is starting to, to lean again is what I was pointing at. So I got a I got off camera. I'm gonna have to push all that back. It's getting ready to fall over again. It's it's on a hill, so that wood is getting ready to fall over. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.